Hey, so this is my first look at Notio Republic on the iPad. Now, Notio Republic is 10 years old and it's the 10th anniversary this June. And that's why the company Aspire has bought it out on the iPad. Now, you can see it is exactly like how it is on the PC or Xbox. Now as you can see all the classes are here just like on the PC version, it's not watered down. I thought they would water it down just a bit to save on space, but they haven't. Now to play this you're going to need the iPad 2 or above, so that's iPad 3 or the iPad mini. You need the latest iOS which at the time is 6, anything above that is fine. Okay let's skip the boring bit and get into game. Okay so this is the first cutscene you get just like the PC version it's exactly the same okay I've just skipped forward a bit you press it and it skips it which is really cool you don't have to watch it okay so the first cutscene you see you're lying in the bed and it's not watered down so the woman's waking up she's like what the hell where am I and then this man comes in and you can't skip this bit but you want to watch this anyway this man comes in he's like Hey everyone, look at me. And you can skip it all. And this is really interesting how they've done the conversation points. You press one or two, which is in the top right corner of your screen, based on which response you want to give. Now this works very well because you don't have to touch the little text at the bottom of the screen like I thought you would. So there's no accidental clicking. Well, I suppose you still could, but it's much less unlikely. The only downside is actually getting to the buttons you like obscure your view so you can't see what you're doing at times okay so you're talking to him you're talking you're talking and then you get a little tutorial which was not in the PC version and it basically tells you how to use the iPad controls you can see you just click to move around make a swift motion and you can look around and to walk it's like a joystick you flick forward you walk forward you flick back you walk back it's really cool you also get a big pause button as you just saw and it just works as a touchscreen game I honestly thought it wouldn't but it does it actually feels like it was made for the iPad so to get around you can touch anywhere on the screen so you don't have to obscure your view the menus are just like the PC version and they're much easier to navigate through with a touch screen you can see your character customization inventory I'll go and get the items so you can see me equipping them everything just smoothly flows the company Aspire have done a really good job on this so you double click clothing, you equip it, double click your short sword, you equip it. It is just excellent. Imagine playing this in the car on a long journey. You'd never get bored. Ever. Okay, I'll skip forward a bit. Let's look at combat. Now the combat system is interesting because of how it actually worked in the original game where you pause, make a decision and then act upon it. It works really well with the touch screen. Okay, let's open this door. You see the cutscene. Everyone is shooting each other. Okay, so the game is paused itself automatically. You can turn that off. You select what attack you want, and your character does it for you. To change skills, you press the little arrow. I'm not sure why it's a flick and you can change it through that as you saw there it is a bit fiddly especially when it's smaller I imagine the iPad mini it will be even harder on but apart from that okay let's go up here you can see how easily it is to get around and like if you see a door and you click on it your character will run to it so that you don't have to run so there are ways around the fiddly control you can see that I tried to attack him and open the door instead. So obviously there is some flaws in the game, but obviously it's caught on the iPad. There you can see I'm multitasking with it in the background. The iPad has no problems doing that. It runs smooth, which is amazing considering a computer back then would have had to be like really good spec to run this. Now the iPad can. 
is a quick look through the menus again. I was going to open the option. There is a touch sensitivity option, which is interesting because it did feel like it needed to be toned down just a tiny bit, but you can do that. So yeah, first thoughts are the game is well worth getting if you have an iPad. It's $10, which is pretty cheap, quick to download, very small, because the iPad has no expendable memory, expandable memory, so you are stuck with what you've got, but it doesn't take up too much space. If you are a fan of Quarter, or you want to try it, it is well worth picking up. Like, get it now, before you even stop watching the video. I've hoped I have helped you decide whether you want to buy it, or just give you a good impression of what it is. If you have any questions, leave them and I'll answer them about the game.